Okay, I think we'll get started. I think uh, we have a good quorum. So uh, I want to just before we get started. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, I guess uh, for all of you. Um, hope you're all enjoying your classes online, and I know there's an additional class online as well. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, Today, we are going to talk about, uh, again, the topic is same. It's called Think Deep, Think Different. We are going to see different aspects of it. Today is going to be on um, how do I learn? So we have to understand a little bit more about how we can learn, and then we can plan how, how to learn, right? So um, before we go ahead, as my every time, my um, ground rules, um, Please make sure that you're able to avoid disturbances around you. Uh, stay and settle in a place where you learn and study so that you can listen and you know, participate in our discussions. Of course, be present physically, emotionally, intellectually. I brought it up yesterday and last time. And you know, use chat to share your thoughts and ask any questions. All right. So <clears throat> I before we go forward. Um, I know I, I remember most, most of the uh, names here. Um, if you were present in the first class, that is last Saturday, uh, please give me a yes. Give me a why if you were present um, in the last. If you were not present, give me a no or a N. Huh? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We have, um, uh, yes, yes, I guess most of them are yes for people who are walking into the class. Um, if you have been there in my last session, please give me a yes on the chat chat box or give me a no. So I've heard, okay, good. Um, uh, okay, I think good. Okay, I got one, two, three, four. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think. Um, um, Rachel, yeah, Rachel, yes, Devika was there. Okay, Rachel, I didn't hear from you, Rachel. So, okay. All right, we get started now, right? So just where we left off last time, last session was how do I think? This session is how do I learn? When we left off the last session, <clears throat> we talked about how is your brain designed to think? Yeah, so we know clearly that we have <clears throat> two parts of the brain. Most of you knew about it. Our left part of the brain is logic, analytical thinking, reasoning, science, and math, and so forth, right? The right part of the brain is our emotional aspects, our thinking, imagination, our gut feel, creativity, innovation, blah, blah, blah. stuff. So, all of us have different permutation combination of what you see here and that defines who we are so we need to know how we think and then only we can decide how we are going to study right how we're going to learn more and think more right so here what you're going to look at is a concept called a multiple intelligence model it's a very simple concept so we all are, all of us are uh, interested in different things. Um, you know, some like music, some like math, some like hate maths, right? <laughs> some people really hate mathematics and physics. Some people love biology, some people love. So there are very, very different types of people. And it is natural that we all are different. So um, there is a beautiful uh, mu uh, model I want to you to be aware of it and i'll give you examples about how i have seen this model work okay so this is called a multiple intelligence model so we are all differently intelligent okay if we start from the top if you see naturalist right so the naturalist is a person who is you know understanding the nature they love the nature they plant uh, you know trees they are always instinct they go for a swim when they go out they feel very comfortable and so forth right those are naturalist people musical so there are people who you know your friends who are like always you know tapping or you know always singing there's something in their head right 
So they're the people who have the pitch, the tone, and that comes naturally for them, the musical aspect. That's called the musical intelligence, right? Then the logical and the mathematical, which is the left, most of the left brain is logical and mathematical. For the, some people, you need a reason for anything and everything you ask. If you talk to them, they're like, oh, no, this is not right. I want this, I want that. So they're very much thinking based on data and based on logic. So they're all of uh, most of the people we all have that piece as well right and you know existential existential is like in you know, the people are a little more philosophically or some friends oh why am i here they are you know thinking about uh, you feel a bigger things in life you know yeah what is the motive of my birth in the world what is that the world expects from me and so forth they are the people who are who are the people who are philosophers and who read those books and so forth Next is uh, the interpersonal thing. There are sort of, sort of some people who you meet with them and they connect with anybody and everybody, you know. So they, they know to connect with people, you know, you should say Satish sir is one, you know, uh, very, very uh, uh, vocal and uh, they derive energy from talking to all of us around in, in video or in person or there's so much energy, right? So there are people who are very good in have, learning what is around them and being able to interact with others. So that is the interpersonal piece that you see here. Then you have the bodily kinesthetic, right? These are people um, who are um, touch and feel people, right? Uh, they are the people who usually um, need to build something, right? They can cook something well. Uh, they can do carpentry. They can draw well. They make something. They can do pottery well, they can make a nice designs well, right? So they're thinking and, and they are also moving people, right? They are like, they have to, uh, it's not, oh, that's a good place. They have to actually go and explore. And they're, so there are different type of people whom you see. And there are linguistic people. They use the best words. Their vocabulary is good. They're, I know you are some people in school as well, or some teachers or somebody I've met who can speak really, you know, eloquently, uh, the choices of the words and, you know, so they know how they can express how they feel. There are people, um, you ask a question, they can't answer because, you know, they know they, they're smart, but they don't know to express themselves well. So there are different types of words. Intrapersonal uh, is the one that, you know, you know about yourself better. This is more like, do you understand yourself well? You know, you know, you are, what are their strengths and how do you operate? And these are people, very structured people, right? And finally, you have the spatial people, right? So these are the people who can drive. For example, if you're driving a car in India, right? So the two vehicles come on the both sides come near you, right? And you see this taxi driver, like, he's cool and, you know, driving, right? And you'll be like closing your eyes. Oh, my God, I don't want to see the car coming close to me. Right? So these people have this spatial intelligence. They, you think you can't go in that space, but these people will actually drive through that gap, right? You've seen those people. So that is called spatial intelligence. So we have, uh, you know, one or more in different combinations and everything, right? So, and again, I just want to show you one more slide. So it is linguistic, they're word smart, logical, logical smart, nature smart, who are naturalists, spatial, pictures, 3D dimension, they are the people who are architects, they can visualize things, you know. Body smart, they are moving with their body, exercising, musical, people work with people well, right? So all of us have different skills. And I just want to tell you guys, you know, getting 100 out of 100 in math is, yeah, you need it for your next session, but or next next level of education, but that's not all it. Because uh, I, I've come across so many students, you know, and let me, let me give you a couple of examples. I know I know a couple of people in, in here, close to my where I live around here. This girl, right? Oh, she used to struggle 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, you know. She can't do math. She can't do, you know, uh, physics is very difficult. She doesn't like biology. But you know what? She, was, she used to draw very well, you know. And you wouldn't believe she did not get the best or the greatest marks in 12th. Okay, but their parents were very clear. Her parents were very clear. She has, she had this gift. Okay, and she went to the design school, school of design, right? And you wouldn't believe. Oh, she was the top student, right? 
so all of us don't have all the skills so what right we have to we have to do what we love and naturally we are wired in some manner you know the left and the right brain and we always and that is what we really love right there are subjects you don't like so uh, until 12 we have to learn guys you have no other way of doing it that is also a very good interesting thing you should learn in that but you never ever learn after that so but then we start focusing on what we want what we like right so i want you to think what are your strengths and yeah marks are marks i know our teachers and our parents are behind us to get good marks as we should get right we all have different skills and our success in life comes out from how we how what sort of an intelligent person you are so i mean there are people are musicians i mean like you can zero get zero marks in maths but doesn't matter but they can sing so well they're great musicians they be great become later in their lives they become musicians so you can see them always playing being a guitar playing drums or whatever maybe and they're designing they're putting youtubes you know all those things right so you we all are different skills and we are intelligent in very very different ways okay do you i hope you got the concept do you have any questions about multiple intelligence and how do you think that you are you know any questions on this topic okay i hope you are aware of this multiple intelligence concept now so moving forward so based on that right we have everybody's learning style is unique as you mentioned we love logic we don't love logic we love nature music whatever it may be so i want to introduce you to a very interesting concept and you can do it i'll show you some examples as well here so this is a person by name richard feynman richard feynman is an again a, uh, i think yeah, i mean he of course he is a nobel laureate and as i brought up last time we talked about david david uh, david uh, uh, uh feynman this is richard uh, the lot feynman uh, david kenan he was also a um, um, uh, nobel prize winner these are people who think and think and think they think deep think different think always think about everything right so uh, this is a background of who richard feynman is and what he did was he gave a interesting process um to how to study anything that you want to do right is if we all study new things i mean even now i'm sure apart from your studies you are trying to learn how to create a website youtube or a, you are learning about iot you are learning about cloud computing or web security or whatever it is right? you are all doing your things as well so or in even in your subject there is some topic that is not very easy for you you are finding it difficult so this technique actually helps you to master that it takes time but it will help you so step 1 it could be any topic any topic in your class in your textbook or anything that you want to learn pick a topic you want to understand and start studying it you write down everything you know about it on the topic on notebook and add to what that page every time you learn something this could be any topic you're learning by yourself or if there's a topic in your uh, a textbook you write all the things that you want to study about that okay that is step number 1 you keep notes keep uh, the way that you understand you put it there number 2 after you do that you pretend to teach your topic so you have you are actually going to think through the subject and say i'm going to explain this topic to somebody else if you have your classmate to you with you or your somebody else who's with you you are going to try to teach that topic to them right so that will give you more understanding and clarity when you start thinking in that way trying to explain the concept to somebody else there you will get a lot of questions you have to clarify that then what happens you have to go back to the books when you get stuck right and you have to deep dive into it and uh, learn that piece extremely well and the interesting ways are how you remember it some people are you know they write the way they understand it rewrite paraphrase things the way you like it make in you know, a bullet points that you can remember and so forth right so if you are able to put this technique into practice 
you should be able to study anything. So Feynman said, this is a technique, you can learn anything in the world, right? So you're thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's supposed to work. Okay, you're telling me he's a Nobel laureate, he can say anything he wants, is it going to work? So what happened was, so this has been around for, uh, you know, Feynman was there until 1960s. So he, he was there for some time. You know, he, he passed away only in 88. So he was there for quite some time. And so there was this interesting guy. There's a guy called Scott Young who said, okay, Feynman's technique. So I want to learn something different. He said, you should, you should, we should visit this website. It's a very interesting. I'm going to show a short video about him as well. So, um, so this Scott Young says, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, you know, I am going to study every topic in mass, mass, you heard of Harvard and MIT, right? Mass Center of Technology. I'm going to study the computer science program, every subject, and you have what is called an open courseware, OCW, you know, you know the topics that start there. So I'm going to use the open courseware that is published by MIT and study all the subjects using this methodology. And he does. And he completes the whole topics, learning this. He, he's, he has not gone to Harvard or MIT, but he ends up studying new topics and new subjects in that program. And he said, okay, so it works on computer science and the mathematics I studied. Let me try something else. I want to know whether this will work. He said, I'm, I'm going to try on different things. I'm going to study new things, right? So what he does is uh, he and his friend, instant Indian guy, um, they get onto an expedition. Let us see what they did. Okay, listen to that. So we just got back from a year of traveling. We went to four different countries learning languages. We were in Spain learning Spanish, Brazil learning Portuguese, China learning Mandarin, and Korea learning Korean. Yeah, and we are uh, just having a couple of beers right now and we decided to do a short video uh, trying to speak in these languages uh, quickly no scripting. and uh, just uh, trying to talk about the culture and the experience that we have when we were traveling. So Scott, why don't you start by saying something in Spanish? Bueno, nuestra experiencia en España fue, fue muy bien porque teníamos amigos y también tenía un regla de no hablar en inglés. Entonces fue muy bien para aprender ese idioma con amigos. La cultura, la cultura de España también es muy abierto y entonces teníamos muchos amigos. También hay Erasmus. Y fue muy bien. Para, y también damos confianza para hacer ese proyecto. Para aprender los uh, otros idiomas. Y no Brasil, uh, yo creo que eh, eh, la experiencia de aprender Portugués, perto de praia, fue muy legal. Sí, la naturaleza fue muy bien, muy bien, muy bonita. Y personas uh, son muy simpáticos, sí, simpáticos. Uh -huh. Y fue un poco fácil después aprender español. español. Woman <laughs> So that was uh, <laughs> our brief. attempt, brief attempt to speak these four languages that we learned. If you're interested, uh, there's uh, longer videos, interviews, and also some short documentaries, yeah. um, sort of trying to capture the experience of being in those countries. So if you're interested, check out the links. Thanks. All right, 
So you know Scott Young. So you please visit the website, and he, they'll give you all the experiences they learned. Music, they've learned to draw. They've learned to sing. They've learned languages. They've learned subjects and topics and so forth. Right. So we all. I just want to tell you that you know we can actually learn the way if you're interested. Okay. You have to have interest to it. And at one point, Scott Young and his friend says, you know, they decided that they will not speak English at all. You know, during the time they're learning one language, so they were. highly dedicated in learning that particular language okay so it is possible so it is up to you if you want to learn something new we have to make sure that we are able to pick up the things that we are able to learn yeah thoughts questions anybody comments what did you what are you thinking right now so do you think you can do it you can learn new things you think and do you think that any topic any subject that you are finding a little bit difficult to learn in your subject you can apply this technique if you think you can apply it say yes give me a yes please or if you have any questions please do ask and i would like you to visit scott yang website give me yes or no guys yes i think okay then she is going to think and you apply it okay good yes father yes yes susan did you yes okay good more 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 how many four people have said yes okay good arena thank you who else who is going to try this if they want to study something new or learn something new okay good ivano thank you anandika says yes okay good right so you know as we talked about uh, the way that we are wired in terms of our intelligences we are all intelligent in multiple ways wide variety of ways in different combinations let us see how we can learn by our own style yeah so if you look at this presentation itself right there are different people in this class um who some would like to read some would like to see videos some would like to do different things up some are making notes some are not making notes or some want games so we'll all learn differently that is the reason why we like to learn differently we all don't learn the same way yeah so this concept of learning styles is divided mainly into four visual auditory read and write and kinesthetic so i think you are using them already in your online sessions um most of you or all of you are attending online sessions and when you attend those those the ways the tools that's being used are designed based on this type of uh, learning methodologies so you will be aware of uh, all these things i'm sure yeah i'm sure if some of you are using khan academy if you are using khan academy videos on any topic guys if you have not used it any topic any subject physics chemistry math whatever you are learning <laughs> your entrance test whatever it may be you don't understand um, a top uh, a, a subject please go to khan academy and you can try i'm sure you have tried it you know about it and byju's you know byju's uh, classes has been a new uh, uh, fresh perspective about how we can learn so if you look at it lot of research has gone into how people learn and just not through yes we do need face to face classes but these are other ways that you will be able to learn so when we we go through that again another one is the ted talks if you listen to ted talks or if you listen to any sort of audio related learnings also some people learn like that that is where the audio learning aspect of learning comes in so auditory learning again any of the books audio books that you read uh, you know nowadays people are asking can you give me a instead of giving me a write up can you give me an audio i can listen to it so those people are learning through uh, their auditory learner right so this is different aspects you can learn different subjects and you know i um, i've seen this happen a lot um, i don't know whether it happens in in your class but mainly in the higher uh, uh, you know if you could do a bachelor's or a master's degrees that you know people actually um, um, record in the class uh, you know when some things are happening we all do recordings of these as well and you're able to hear or see or you know uh, revisit those topics later 
and you know you can uh, rewind it and play it again so there are different ways that if you want to if you are a, a auditory learner uh, in a class probably you're going to uh, um, so this is another type of learning as you mentioned how you learn through um, auditory senses some people uh, listen, uh, see and learn so this is again the audio podcast and some others are actually um, like to write and read right you want you really want your kindles or the real hand books that you use to make sure that you are able to read and understand people some people make a lot of notes and you see the writing you don't know whether you're listening to the class or not but you see all some people are writing a lot so those are people who are who need to read and write and understand right some people say you know, when we were young there is one method you know we had to write every question answer five times that is the that is the class homework they should prepare in the class you know whether you have those type of methodology anymore so for some students it helped because you as write the question and you repeat the answer many times so the whole idea is that when you repeat it in, in the writing and the reading form and they also say you have to say what you are writing so they were sort of even though they didn't have any uh, audio systems or you know recordings or videos or whatever it may be even in um, decades ago when we were studying in school i should say you know 70s or you know even that time frame right so you know um, teachers did to tell us you know please when you write an answer please say it loud and write and read it you know so there are different types of learners used to learn in various formats yeah so you know him our friend reads a lot if you need any inspiration from our uh, our friend you know who he is so and the type of learners that we want to talk about is i said about kinesthetic learning right kinesthetic learning are the people who need to feel and touch and learn you know? so these are people who are very good at experiments uh, if you give if you tell them uh, you know to do something they will actually be able to learn from it some people don't want to touch the mud or whatever it may be but these are people who are actually um, who wants to move their body and learn and you know touch and feel like that right so probably you are seeing people like um, uh, you know people who are friends who are walking briskly you know in the in the room they're they're walking and learning and they're doing their hands and so forth right so those are the people who learn visually you know so sorry uh, kinesthetically using their energy their body and that is how they learn you know they can't sit in one place and uh, read or listen to something that's not their body type to learn that way so we all have different things sometimes we also learn in different formats that we are designed our body is designed to yeah all right so now that we know how else we can how well we can learn we are going to go back to the topic that we left off last time where we said we are going to look at a mental models okay so the mental models we left we know how we think you know how to learn right now a lot more things and now we are going to go back and revisit our thinking models okay so we are going to just talk about one or two models here not much a uh, one we are going to talk about is called relativity yeah so if all this this is a, this is a beautiful example of how we talk about relativity that we see the world or how we understand things uh it also has to do with our which intelligence we have is on the top of how we learn so it's an elephant you see there and there are six blind people right and they don't know how an elephant looks like so they're all some are feeling the ears some is feeling the trunk some is feeling the legs some is feeling the tail right so they all think that an elephant means like this because that's all they can feel they have not seen an elephant as a whole but they are just looking at different aspects and for them and if a person had felt the uh, trunk for that person only knows oh elephant means it is like this have no clue that elephant has an ear or legs or whatever it may be right so we all come with our own thought process how we look at things and how we take in things based on our understanding do you agree with me or not yes 
No, I don't know. Give me a Y or an N. Okay, yes. Couple of more yeses, please. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Thank you. So I think now that we know that we're going to look a little bit more inside. Thank you. So we will see how we understand that differently. So I'm going to put a picture in front of you. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell me what thought comes to your mind. I want you to type it down huh, on the chat window. What does, what, what do you, what thoughts come to your mind when you see this picture? What do you think? What is this kid? What is, what is the first thing comes to your mind? Happy kid. Okay. Happy father. Happy little boy. Okay. Next. Anyone else? Yeah. Happiness. Okay. Good. So you're all very happy. It talks about your mindset. Okay. What else? Next. Happy. Any other emotion? Any other thoughts? Happy boy. Does anybody think he's mischievous? Yeah. Yes. He uh, he's tricking somebody. Yeah, he just made a fool of somebody else and is laughing about it. What else? Okay. <laughs> okay, he's playful. Okay, good. Yeah. What else do you see in his face? Playful. Okay. Okay, mischievous. Okay. Happy boy, excitement. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So let me give you a couple of my other observations. There's one guy who said, oh, naughty, yes. Oh, that guy, uh, that kid uh, uh, could, should go to the dentist. Did you guys see that coming? No, right? So my question to him was, is anybody in your family a dentist? Of course, my dad, he said, right? So it is how he sees the world and we all see the world from our mental model or how we think the world is. All right. Next, again, you tell me what you see here. This actually happened to me. Uh, it was my experience as well. What do you see? Please write down. Fish and water. What else do you see? What, how, what sort of fish is it? Or what, you, what, is, what is that you, uh, what you felt when you saw this? Fish. Some fish is swimming. Okay, then what? Hungry. <laughs> good one, good one. Abhiram, I like that. Good one. Next. <laughs> what else? Fish swimming in water, cat, fish searching for food. Okay, all right. I like those are, I like those are dead. Okay, okay. She, then she feels, I think she feels they are dead. Okay. Six fishes swimming around. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six is there. Okay, good. Okay, right. So you all are looking at things differently. A school of fishes. Okay, nice, nice. Very, very nice. So, this actually happened to me and me and my friend, my Japanese friend. We were walking in a beautiful park um, in Japan. And I see these type of nice, colorful, little sad of being in an aquarium. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too, right? So I see this is, they have a lot of these uh, parks and they have these uh, water bodies around. And I, I, uh, we see this beautiful, beautiful colored fish. And I say, oh, wow, a beautiful fish. And he goes... Yummy fish, like you know, like Abraham said, right? So he is thinking about for the same thing that looks to me as aesthetic and beautiful, because I am a vegetarian, I don't eat fish, right? For him, it is like wow, and, and as Abraham said, hungry, you know, he said, Wow, yummy. You know, that's what his perspective was, right? So that is coming because we all think differently, and so we look at things entirely differently. Do you agree with me? If you have the video, you can say yes. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. So going forward, we are going to look at what we saw about the mental model 
I'm going to show a short video and I'm going to stop the video in some time and I'm going to ask you questions. You have to tell me what you see in the, what is happening in the video. An event seen from one point of view gives one impression. So what do you think? What, An event sorry. seen from one point of view gives one impression. So what do you think is happening here? What is, so what is happening here? Give me what, what do you think? Quick, he's running quick. away from the person in the car. Ah, okay. He's running away from the person in the car. Okay, good. What else? Who else? What else thing is happening? So oh, maybe is, coming to his lover. Oh, he's coming to the lower. I think okay. he's chasing. He's chasing. Okay. All right. Good. Next what? Anybody more? Maybe he's late for work. Uh, he's going for a walk. To rescue okay. someone. <laughs> well, what is that again? Trying to rescue someone. Trying to rescue someone. Did anybody see that coming? He's being chased. Okay. So probably he's running away from there. That is that a police car? I don't know. But she's trying to she's trying to save someone. Who who said that? Your name, please. Aksa. 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 Okay. Fine. Okay. How do you see that? Oh, amazing. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, all right. So sir, we all. Sir, yeah. sir. Yes, we is go. he go? Uh, is he trying to harm the woman? Oh, okay. That's a perspective. So we, we have a story. You, you're going to tell a story. What you think is happening, right? So we don't know what the truth is. We're all looking at a picture. We're all having our mental model. We're looking at what it is happening from our perspective. You already heard different types of people saying different stories, right? Okay. I don't know what happened. And we're all thinking this is what we saw, right? She's trying to harm the lady, you know, she's running to the lover and he's going to save somebody and running away from the police or he's chasing somebody. You have no clue. All right. You are all with me. You're going to watch the video a little bit forward. Seen from another point of view, it gives quite a different impression. What but happened? What do you oh. see now? What do you think happened? He's going to rob somebody else. He's going to rob somebody else. Anybody else? Anybody? Any other comment? What do you think is happening there? Going to fight. He's going to fight with somebody. Okay. Then what else? He met his old friend. He met his old friend. Okay. Interesting. All right. What else? What else? Okay, fair enough. He came in sight with the person who was chasing him. Say, say again, please. He came in sight with the person who was chasing him. Okay, fine, fine. fine he just it. pulled out the one when he was running. He pulled out what, sorry? I mean, he pulled the one who was standing by and he, ah, okay. he was running. Okay, okay, fine, fine. All right. So, at this point of time, guys, we are almost like the blind six blind people looking at an elephant, right? So if you have to understand, so we, most of the time we have uh, our perspective from the way we look, the angle that we look, what is happening. So let us see this video. But it's only when you get the whole picture, you can fully understand what's going on. Ah. You get it. He's going to save that person. Ah, so we're going to see that again right now. Now we see it again. Okay. Now tell me what your thoughts Maybe. are. An event seen from one point of view gives one impression. Seen from another point of view, it gives quite a different impression. But it's only when you get the whole picture you can fully understand what's going on. Thoughts. What are you thinking? Oh. Are there situations that he's going, to, uh, he's going to save the person? Yes, father. Yes, he's going to save the person. Now you see something different. He's not running to his lover. Not, uh, he's not being chased by a police. He's not going to you know, rob anybody is not good, right? This is an entirely different perspective when you see the whole thing. 
And most of the time what happens is that our mental models, um, you know, if you are if you were uh, fearful of something and we are always looking at it that way, oh my God, I have to run because he's, a, he's going to, you know, he, is, he looks like a, probably a thief. Or we don't know. We, don't, we are just being able to relate to what our parents or family has told us. And that is how we look at things, right? So I want you, he's going to save the, okay, yeah, he's going to save the person with you, right? right? So if you look at it, these are the ways that we could think. So the reason I'm saying is if you and your friends are looking, having a discussion, and this person says, no, this is how it is, and you're saying, no, that's not it is. We are all looking at in different perspectives is because how we are wired and how we are designed. That's again the message. Yeah? Agree with me? Sure? Okay. So now, what is the video? How many of you learn music or any sort of sports, whatever it is? In how, let's say with music. How many people still learn music here? Me. Okay. Rijo says one. Give me a yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're going to have more people. I learn I learned Karnati music. Oh, very nice. Rijo. Good. Karnati music is good. Okay. A lot of you learn Karnati music, Western music, and everything. Right? Do you think there's a relation between learning music and learning math yes what do you think it is how does it connect your brain when you learn music or when you learn math because of the beats of music you have to count it okay then actually max we are uh, learning by understanding the concept Okay. And music uh, by hearing many times and just um, singing, practicing. What do you practice when you sing? I practice the words, the uh, what, the rhythm, the tone. The swaras, right? In, uh, and the uh, what? Sangadis in Malayalam will say. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And also, you're doing a lot of permutation combination of connecting your neuro cells right sama gama riga sari sa sari riga gama ma ri pa ma pa gama riga right yeah that's a vakra janda varshaka ah janda varshaka right so what you are doing yeah, vakra janda varshaka vakra janda varshaka right so you are actually trying to connect different parts of your brain to make those connections right so if you're le so there is a very interesting thing if you're able to learn one subject well in different forms you're able to think differently think deep work on different multiple uh, you know uh, permutation combinations lot of these um, just imagine like bzz, these connections are made in your brain right so you're able to think more. Otherwise, they are. If you're not exposed to something, if you're you're working on a one perspective or looking at your mental model, and your your for maybe your your brain is wired in one way, when you're able to learn with multiple things, this could be aiding you to connect your brains and neurons in different ways to connect more connections in your brain, so you're able to think better. Agreed. So learning any of the music, yes. any of the sport, anything else, you, you are with all different skill because the multi-intelligence concept and we learn different things. And I, I can tell you 150% is that you do that well, you are going to learn your subjects well. You can use uh, Feynman's method to learn anything that you want, connect more neurons and you will be able to get good marks and being able to learn what you love. Okay? Thoughts? Questions? Anyone? So what do you think you're going to do next for your studying a good, if you want to learn something new, what are you going to do? What do you think will help you? Study for some time. Mm. If, we are, if we are getting dull, mm -hmm. we will hear music, study music, then both will work. Okay, that is a good, very good perspective. All right. 
it help you think better of course yeah. yes yes good anybody else any thoughts one more one more person okay so you understand that you will be able to do well when you are going to learn different ways connect different parts of your brain and you can think better right all right yes good yes okay so uh, i just want to ask you one final um, question about before we move to the next topic you are going to say you're going to write down in a book in front of you how many items do you remember when you were in the classroom think about the, the classroom that you were in it maybe a few months ago i'm sure you're going to go school for a number of years i want you to write down in the paper in front of you how many items do you remember in your classroom write down please take take 2 minutes to write down what all things you remember you visualize it and see what all things how many things you can write down okay i think all of you are done ready all right so abiram has written saying that chair no. table and the you're not done okay we'll give another minute go ahead done all right yeah almost okay so how many items do you have riju how many items did you write down 1 2 17 wow 17 items in the classroom wait okay anybody else has got 17 how anybody has got 17 or higher 18 18 danishri says 18 okay what else anybody else 18 8 anyway about 17 18 anybody 15 16 around types anybody else okay so as the danishri said 18 you're going to start with 19 19 okay so rijo okay <laughs> okay rijo let's start with you then so you have one more item than danishri so tell me um, what all things uh, you see in the classroom tell me what are remember from the classroom go to list right okay. or you can make okay. a tick off it okay go ahead rijo and danishri and everybody else Teacher. can fill in 20 Teacher. 20 okay, okay go ahead what have you got okay I will hear from Rijo and Danishri. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Teacher. Teacher. Okay. Students. Students. Okay. Uh, table. Table. Chair. Chair. Duster. Okay. Marker, scale, pencil, okay. uh -huh. books, bags, uh -huh. Uh -huh. water bottle, uh -huh. notice board, charts, okay. Okay. tiffin, decorative okay. shoe uh, items. Okay. Shoes. Okay. Uniform. Shoes. Oh, you went the wrong way that way. Okay, I mean, I mean the items. Okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> all right. I was wondering how you got nineteen, uh, twenty, and so forth. Okay, go ahead. Okay, all right. Then is there anything Rijo is missing? Uh, windows. Doors, windows. Okay, bin. doors. Uh. Smart board. Okay. Computer. Okay. Writing board. Okay. Uh, camera. All right. projector wow well, these are things we do in our, our school but okay good okay good <laughs> books <laughs> okay. attendance register okay and what else uh cupboard okay uh charts okay good right so you got a lot of minutes so i think is if you look at it right we all think differently and you know you're able to some are more detail some are looking in you know, a bigger picture some are looking at detailed picture right so Uh, i'm sure you're visually looks so probably these people are more visual learners i would say you know they're able to walk through the room and see and scan and figure out what is their niche place rijo is even looking at even in the your bag what all to fill is the, what have you brought for lunch also yeah so right so you're all looking at these things very differently i mean it's all good you know i'm just saying we all think and we are wired differently right so having said that we will discuss about you now we saw a little bit about how we th you can look at think and uh, think deep and think learn well 
we will talk about how we all think differently in our next session. All right. So you have a preview of why we some people see things, some people don't, and what our intelligences are. Some are have a musical intelligence, some have you know mathematical intelligence, some have spatial intelligence, what all intelligence we have, and we are all designed differently, but we all we all can learn new things and the way that we want to do it. So next session, we will look at how we see how we think now and also how we can think differently and how we think all of us think very differently in that perspective. Right? Any questions, thoughts, comments for today's session? Anyone? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, we have got some tools to play. You can next time you can come and tell me whether you tried whether you tried Feynman's method. Did I want some of you to come and give me an example? Any concept that you had difficulty in learning, and then you're going to come back and tell me how you learned it and what happened. Is that a good exercise for you? You guys think? Yeah. Give me yes, a yes or a no, guys. Okay, good. Give me a yes or a no, guys, on the chat. Okay, good. So you are going to try something and you tell us. Yes, go ahead. Anybody else? Yes. Okay, good, good.